My name's Lori Young, and um, I am a proud volunteer of the FCS, but I'm also on the board of directors, and I want to welcome all of you. It's wonderful to see you, um, council members, FYA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so let's start. We're late, Filipino time, as usual, no problem. Sorry about that. So um, I'd like to ask uh, council member Gossett to please come up. Um, this is pretty exciting, you guys. Um, just, just being able to do this, it, I just happen to be just one of the board members that happened to be here, so. But um, this is a huge milestone for us. And there's a lot of people that we're going to thank. Velma. And Council Member Gossett, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, my colleague, Rod, Dembowski is also here with me from the County Council. And I'd be very remiss if I didn't introduce to you all my wife and better half, Rhonda Gossett. And all of us are very happy to be here at the Filipino uh, Community Center. Uh, we're very happy to be here uh, to announce and our excitement about uh, the fact that our county, Martin Luther King County, uh, was able, uh, particularly with the strategic work of Rod Dembowski on the Budget Committee, uh, to get about $5 million to contribute toward the building of the uh, Filipino uh, community's village. Yeah, let me get that right. Let's give it. In third world cultures, whether it be in Asia, Africa, Latin America, the elderly are really revered and respected. So it's in that context that I'm really happy that we were able to uh, contribute a little bit toward uh, building some new, very modern, uh, very nice uh, living spaces for uh, the elderly Filipino and otherwise that will be part of the uh, people that fill the 95 units uh, that we're building here. Um, but that is, this is not the first project, it might be the biggest project uh, that the Filipino Community Center has been involved in. Uh, I have always appreciated that when I was the executive director of the Central Area Motivation Program in the 1970s and uh, 80s, the beginning of the 90s, that we were always able to call upon our Filipino uh, brothers and sisters uh, um, to support efforts that we make to generate support for housing, jobs, uh, recreational facilities, tutoring programs here in Rainier Valley as well as the central area. And this center or its predecessor and many of the uh, uh, Domingos, uh, our representative who's here, Frank Aragon and his wife, were always there to support it. Matter of fact, I really think that here in Seattle, we've had some of the best cross-racial unity and cooperation over the last five decades that is not very comparable. No other city in the country is able to compare how well we've worked together across Asian, uh, Latino, Native American, African American, progressive white communities. And because of that, I think that's had a lot to do with this project being successful and other efforts that you all have uh, supported. So I want to hear more about uh, the projects, uh, particularly the one that we're here to celebrate today. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I feel most comfortable at this time of bringing forth my colleague who represents North Seattle and the suburbs that are just beyond it, uh, Mr. Rod Dombowski, because he was on the budget committee <laughs> that put the final touches on the $5 million that uh, your Velma and other members of your community who put pressure on us to come up with the money to help uh, build this project, he put all the last ribbons and knots together so that we would be successful in getting the money. So without further ado, I present to you King County Council Member Rod Dembowski. Thank you, Larry. Uh, 
Thank you very much, Councilmember Gossett. Uh, this is my sixth year serving on the County Council, and I have to tell you, it is just the honor of a lifetime to get to serve with the legendary King County Councilmember Larry Gossett. You are so lucky to have him <laughs> representing you on the County Council. Um, it's, uh, it really is a privilege. You know, I think um, there's a Filipino saying, if you plant, you harvest. If you plant the seed, you harvest. I got that mostly right. Um, I just wanted to tell you, just share a little bit with you about why it's such a privilege for me to be here with you today. I grew up in Renton. I went to Hazen High School. I'm a Highlander. Uh, I went with Uncle Frank's son, John Mario. Um, and uh, I really became friends with a lot of folks in the Filipino-American community then, the Pinedas, the Gabaos, the uh, uh, Magbaletas, uh, and they were very good to me, inviting me into their family, getting me hooked on lumpia. Uh, I, hope, I hope there's some over there. <laughs> Maybe some pancet noodle or two as well. Um, and uh, a very early political mentor of mine uh, was a fellow named Nemesio Domingo. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> And the Domingo family, uh, Nemesio in particular, I helped him when he ran for the Renton School Board. We had his kickoff in my backyard, and uh, he really taught me a lot about justice and uh, working for working people. Cindy, his sister, is here today. Just give Cindy a little love. Yeah. Uh, and that had a, a big influence on me and my outlook on life. And in fact, I lobbied on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. with Nemesho for something called the Justice for Wards Cove Workers Act to remedy discrimination against Filipino cannery workers in Alaska uh, that suffered a bad decision by the United States Supreme Court. Uh, and so my affection for the Filipino community in this county uh, runs pretty deep. And when we were... Um, when I was seeking the county council seat, I want you to know, talk about planting seeds. Uh, Frank Aragon was there, and Velma Valoria was there, and Nemesio was there. And they helped plant this seed in terms of putting me on the King County Council so we could, a little bit, have a, an ally of Councilmember Gossett to reap this harvest here today. Um, we, uh, I served on the budget writing committee, and we try and listen to our colleagues about what's important in their district. And we got to the housing part of the budget, and we reached out to Councilmember Gossett and to Cindy, uh, his staffer, and said, uh, what is the most important housing priority for Councilmember Gossett? And he said, this project. And um, oftentimes, you know, we um, compromise or we cut the number down or whatever, but uh, we looked around the table and said, hey, we're budgeting here, let's do it uh, with an equity lens. Uh, the Filipino community has not received, to be honest with you, very much investment uh, over the years from King County. Let's do the full ask, the $5 million. So we're very proud to be uh, returning your dollars to you <laughs> in the form of that uh, check. Um, so that's the cake. We're going to do a little icing on the cake. I guess, understand it's the 60th anniversary of the drill team this year, right? 2019. Mm -hmm. And uh, Metro Transit, uh, we have the largest van pool program in the country, 1,400 vans. The federal government says we can only use them for a little bit of time. And then we get to put a number of them out into the community. So we've got some keys to a van to help you all get around to the Seafair Torchlight Parade and the Chinatown International District Parade. Um, I always love seeing you guys out there, the energy, the precision, you know, the culture that you bring uh, to our community. It's awesome. So I um, just didn't want to express my appreciation for being able to join you today to the leaders in your community that have helped me uh, serve in the role that I'm serving on. And it's just a privilege to be able to partner with you and see you succeed in lifting up your community. Thank you very much. So um, I'd like to um, ask Alma Kern and Velma Valoria to come up. Um, I see these two women as my mentors. I see them as like unbelievable, <laughs> an unbelievable leaders of our community. And it is so, I'm so proud to say, wow. Please, um, please, please. You want to go first? Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. 
Thank you for being here today. This is as, this is as exciting a day as you can ever get here at the community center. And thank you to council member Dambowski and our friend, Mr. Larry Gossett. Thank you very, 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 very much. As you know, we are building a five-story building right here, right across the community center. Fourth, uh, second, third, fourth, and fifth will be 95 units of senior housing, affordable housing, and the first floor will be the Innovation Learning Center, a world-class computer lab for our kids here in Rainier Valley. Larry Gossett asked me, you mean only Filipinos? I said, no all the youth here in Rainier Valley, and we're very proud, very proud of that. And so the Filipino community village has been 10 years in the making, 10 years, and now we're seeing the, the light at the end of the tunnel. We're groundbreaking in July, thanks to our partner, Beacon Development. Stand up, Chris. Our architect is not here, but because of the help from, from King County, from the state, from the city, and from all our funders and the community. Larry, do you know that we have collected $800,000 from our community? Yeah, that's, that's a first. So anyway, I want you all to listen to Velma Veloria. <laughs> So thank you very much, Council Member Gossett, Council Member Domboski. This is really exciting. And I just wanted to tell you that it's been, it's been um, a lot of begging. <laughs> we begged in the state, we begged in the state, in the city, and we begged the King County Council. And uh, like, like, um, Council Member Domboski said it was a very strategic plan, very strategic. We knew, we knew exactly what we wanted to do. So I wanted to tell you that the housing project is already paid for, right, Chris? Right. See, what we're what we're looking at now is the the bottom floor, the Innovation Learning Center. We've raised $3.4 million out of $5 million. So we're going back to the state and ask for $1.6 million. And the board of the Filipino community, Edwin Obras, Lori, and um, there's this guy named Richard Murray, who's been sending out letters to all these um, council members, uh, state representatives and Senate, and he's making appointments for us, and we're gonna go back on Tuesday and just hit the pavement and continue to beg. <laughs> so I wanted to say thank you very much for um, all the work that you do. Thank you for this great big check. We, you know, I called you, um, Council Member Domboski, and I you know, wrote an email and I said, I'm dancing on my toes. He goes, wait a minute, <laughs> wait till you get it. So, <laughs> so I also wanted to say um, thank you to Cindy because that strategy <laughs> came from her and I wanted to say thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks a moment.